The school management arranges for transport as far as the vehicular road exists, where parents wait with horses to receive their children and ride 10 to 20 kilometers to their repos. After a long winter vacation, the staff of the Puga Residential School gear up for the difficult task of gathering the children of the nomads from their remote encampments. This happens in the month of March on snow-covered roads. At the time of reopening, the mini-truck of the school moves in different areas to collect the children. The parents are informed in these remote areas by a special satellite phone made available by the administration of Leh. They are informed of the arrival of the school vehicle and the place where they will meet. Accordingly, they bring their children to a vehicle either on horse or yak for the rendezvous, traveling through treacherous mountains and through biting, spine-chilling, snowy winds. All this in the hope that their children receive an education that they themselves have never received. ตั้งอาจารย์มันไอ้ลําบากพัดชุบตั้งนี่มันสติเนี่ยตินมาตาบาสนั้นหลอดสงอาตัวตีกระดิษฐ์สมิขายังอาจารย์อาคันบิงด
Due to the efforts of the present staff members, the students of nomadic residential school Puga for the first time received an opportunity to participate in the parade of India's Independence Day celebrations at Leh. It was like a dream come true for the nomadic children as many of them had never ever been to the hustle and bustle of the atmosphere of Leh. Standing up in line with the contingent of advanced columns of school children, performing their parade amidst thousands of spectators at the Leh Polo Ground was itself a challenging task for the children of Puga. But they fearlessly and courageously did what was expected of them, leaving behind most of the superior schools of Leh. The nomad children secured second position in the March Pass composition and won appreciation in the hearts of the gathering crowd. On a special invitation from the organizing committee of the Ladakh festival, the children of the Puga Residential School received another chance to perform on the opening day of the festival. Beautifully choreographed by Mr. Dorje Wangchuk Mogul, the physical education teacher of Puga School, the presentation of the children highlighted the main features of a nomadic way of life became the central attraction of the program. Chief guest JNK Tourism and Cultural Minister Mr. Navang Rigzin Jora praised and admired the performance of the nomad children and announced a cash prize of Rs 50,000.